GTC, stand up. Let's dive right into the man, the topic of conversation here today, man. You see, I'm a diehard Chiefs fan, no doubt. Whew. Last night was brutal, guys. Last night was really brutal. Watching um watching Mahomes run for his life again, like that Super Bowl. That was really tough for, you know, to see all those guys standing at his legs. Um him having to make almost every play. Whew. Man, I, I feel like we needed to run the ball to relieve some of that pressure and take it off of off of Patrick. But um we didn't, so it is what it is. The receivers had the, the, the dropsies, you know, the Kadarius Tony wide open drops, the tip balls. Maybe that comes from not being able to practice. And being out with, with the knee injury, you know, hopefully as the season goes on, we can um, do better and uh, get get some cohesion because that offensive line was that was not the that was not the look that you would expect to see from a revamped O line. Excuse me, um, man. From the defensive side. We didn't. We done enough to win the game, but we didn't do enough to win the game. If that makes sense, right? We we didn't stop the run. We did not stop the run. They were averaging about five, you know, five yards a pop almost every run. I mean, that puts them in in great positions for they for they. Um, for their quarterback, Jared Goff, that puts him in great position for that. Um, for his little short intermediate routes that they run, as well as all that play action that they run and boot action that they run out there. I mean, it, it was just it was it lined up perfect for Detroit. Okay, it just lined up perfect for Detroit against our defense and how we were playing. You can definitely tell that Chris Jones was missed. <laughs> okay. Um, we know for sure on that offensive side, Travis was missed. You know, Mahomes said in uh, in his video that, you know, in his press conference, he spoke of, you know, guys got to step up. That's pretty much it. You know, we got to step up and, you know, make plays. We got we to gotta catch the ball. Catch it. Okay? Catch it. That's what they teach you. Triangle, catch the ball. You know, all this catching with your body stuff. We need receivers who can actually catch the ball. I didn't see the receivers get any separation, which was kind of strange because they were talking how good these guys were, were going to be. But I didn't see any separation on any of these guys. You know, I didn't see no separation. Excuse me. But I just feel like overall the O-line let us down. The D line did what they could. They were facing a, a a big O line. They did what they could. It seemed like we were just a step off, just a hair off, all night when we came to blitzing. Golf had an answer for everything that we threw at him, you know. So it just seemed like we was a hair off every time. We just gotta. We got we to gotta go back to the lab, y'all. We got to go back to the lab, stir it up, and come with something better. That that ain't that ain't going to be it. <laughs> That's just not going to be it. We got to get back in the lab, stir that thing up, and figure out something else. You know what I mean? That's that's what we're going to have to do for sure. Um, I, I kind of got to put this one on Andy. He the head coach. You supposed to have your players ready to play, regardless of who's on the field, because they all we always preach the next man up. Well, when the next man came up, he didn't look ready to play. That's all I'm saying. The next man came up did not look ready to play. So I don't, I don't understand what happened, but we we just got to do better than that, guys. We got to do better than that. You know, was this just a one off? First time putting everything together, one off. I don't know. I guess we're going to see next week. But the Jaguars <laughs> are tougher than the Lions, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. 
we going to see. Um, Pat Mahomes' first first half, it, he, he played good in the first half. That second half, ugh, not so swell. But most of that could be attributed to drop passes, drop passes. You know, and then this, this pick six, drop pass tip is, you know, we had that issue with Tyreek too, remember? So, it happens. Chiefs Nation, we got to stand up. We got to do better, baby. We got to figure it out. You know, Spags, we got to get get some pressure on that quarterback. We didn't get no pressures on that quarterback. None. Zero. Come on, y'all. One sack, Mike Dana. One sack is what we got <laughs> yesterday. Mike Dana. And even when we blitzed, we was we was a hair too late, and golf had an answer. He was dumping the ball off, getting it out of his hands. It's like we wasn't prepared. It's like we wasn't ready. But we, Detroit, hats off, hats off to Detroit. They did their thing. They came to KC. They got the L. I mean, they 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 took they 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 gave the L to the Chiefs. They took their W, and they and they did what they had to do. You know. They did what they had to do. You know, Mahomes, in his whole entire career, he's got three pick sixes off of tips. <laughs> Ain't That's crazy. Like, that's crazy. We need somebody to catch the ball, y'all. Can we catch the ball? You know what I mean? His first loss in the, season, in, in the opener, you know, we're going to get better. We're going to get better. It ain't all doom and gloom over here in KC, trust me. We understand things happen we didn't look good but now we got some things to actually work up on and approve upon so when Travis Kelsey gets back and by the time the playoffs come around hopefully we have all this these things buttoned up and tightened up and then we get Chris Jones back and then we'll be in a better spot Chiefs Nation stand up GTC like comment subscribe Turn on that notification button so you can be aware. And we'll see you on the next one.